I just finished a really awesome yoga practice. It involved a lot of Hatha yoga stretching and kundalini breathing, which is really awesome. It's like a breath work, breath exercise, where you focus on your out breath, on releasing. And you put all your focus into that, and then your in breath comes naturally, and you get in like this cycle, and it's really meditative. It's really awesome. Um, my One of my former yoga teachers, Yoga Doug, has a channel, and I believe it's called Yoga Doug, one word. And he has a lot of really awesome breathwork exercises on there. If you are interested in looking further into doing kundalini breathing, it's really awesome. Hi, Stardust. She wants to say hi. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> so, I got an order last night for this little trinket that I've made. A little bit ago, I was experimenting with this square wire that a friend of mine got for me as a gift because she knew I was into arts and crafts and wire wrapping and thought it was something different that I might like to try. So I got this little bottle, filled it with shells that my mom gave me. She got them from her trip whenever she went to Maui a little while ago. And I filled this bottle with shells and wire wrapped an amethyst crystal to it. And in the process of moving to the Portland area, I remember unpacking it, I remember seeing it, but for some reason I can't remember, you know, I've tried to meditate on it, which is normally what I do when I'm able to find things, and for some reason I just couldn't, couldn't grab it, couldn't grab the information. And after today, I have gotten a closer look at why... I might not have needed to grab the information. Out of everything that I have made, I have to say that this was probably the easiest to actually remake and have it look identical, which it does. I went on a search for square wire. I went to Michael's craft store, and they didn't have any, so I started calling around the local craft places in Portland, in the area, and... I came across this one called the Beads Bead Store, or the Bead Source. I think it's the Bead Store. And it's run by a woman who's been, she says that she's owned it for about 20 years now in Portland, and they have all kinds of beads and all kinds of wires, um, shells. I even, whenever I went there, I was really amazed because if not for this really needing the square wire, which, by the way, I called five or six different places, and this is the only one that actually had any kind of square wire at all, which is pretty amazing. And so I go to this really awesome bead store, and it's totally locally owned. The woman owns it, and she has all these really awesome stuff, not just for materials that I could use, like natural, like bone-carved stuff and wooden beads, faceted gemstones, they use a lot of natural materials or stones. She had a lot of that stuff. But she also had um, feathers, which were eco-friendly in the way that she knows where they're sourced from. They're all shed feathers from birds. I believe she said that she had pheasant feathers that were from Texas, and there's like a bird farm that she gets them from that they just shed them. Something I'm always concerned about buying feathers from like a traditional craft store like Michael's or Joann's because I don't really know where the feathers come from and I'd rather be sure and so I found feathers and all kinds of fun stuff but also one thing that I've been trying to do with my artwork with canvas pieces and with paintings is move towards being 100% eco-friendly which means that um, no paints no like traditional paints that I would buy from you know, the main craft stores, which personally I would consider this to be Joann's and Michael's because I hear about them the most. I guess Ben Franklin up here is pretty popular too, uh, although I couldn't find it. That's actually where I got the first square wire, but I couldn't find a Ben Franklin within two hours. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, but I'm glad that I found the square wire and it all worked out. But I also, at the store, found um, pigment. It's kind of like a chalk. It's made from mica, which is a type of crystal, and it's dyed mica. So I'm really interested to start using that. I'm trying to use up the last of my paints. I don't plan on buying any more. And whenever I do want to buy new colors, I'm going to start buying eco-friendly. And this is definitely an option. It's kind of more like chalk, but I feel like I could do a lot with it. And it would be a lot of fun. So I got the wire. And I started heading back home. Or I, would, I actually wanted to find a place to sit and actually make the bottle. So I had the tab with me so I could have the picture and just do it all straight from the picture. So I was thinking about going to Pete's Coffee, which is in Lake Oswego. It's about 10 minutes away from where I live. And instead I thought to myself, well, let's just see what comes up. So I p typed into the Google Maps Organic Coffee, and it gave me an address, but it didn't give me a name of a place or anything. So I thought to myself, well... I said organic coffee, it's worth a try, I'll try it out, and I drove down to where it told me to go. I don't really remember, I wasn't paying attention to if it was actually at the exact spot that it gave me, but I ended up finding a Stumptown Coffee, which is an organic coffee place, and I sit, went in there, ordered a soy latte, or rice milk latte, and I did my thing, I spent like... 45 minutes maybe wire wrapping this bottle, doing the shells and the um, fox suede, every all the embellishing on it. And there was this little girl and her mom who came in shortly after I did, and she was so cute. She was running around and she was like telling, there's this lady sitting there with a baby who's breastfeeding, and she walks up and she says, I like your baby. <laughs> And she was just so cute, just going around everywhere, so curious, and she was looking at the art, and she and her mom were talking about the art. So, whenever I finished doing the piece that I originally came there to get, to do, I ended up, I t it took me like five minutes, I just, you know, took this, another little bottle, a different bottle, filled it with some shells, a couple amethyst crystals, glued the top so that it wouldn't come off, and attached a piece of, um, suede to it, so she could wear it as a necklace. And... I gave it to her and told her it was uh, fairy magic with stones and shells and gave them a little story behind it. Never never asked their name, they never asked mine, but it was just like something that I felt like inspired to do in that moment and just did. And the entire time I was making it, I was thinking to myself, I hope they don't leave, I hope they don't leave. <laughs> but get, I felt kind of comfortable that you know I was inspired to do this for a reason. I just felt like she was so interested in art and in life, I wanted to keep inspiring her. So, I did. I hope. <laughs> and, yeah, if I had not misplaced, or if I had been able to remember where that I had put that little bottle, my day would have gone completely different, and I enjoyed it so much. I had a lot of fun. Came home, ate dinner with my brother and um, put some listings up on Etsy, did yoga for a while, which was really awesome. Listened to a lot of really good music, mostly by Ellie Golding, which is, she's super awesome. I just love her voice. She has, like, this tone, and she has a lot of control over the pitch, the strength. She's very creative with it, and she does a lot of, like, hand motions and stuff. It's really fun to watch her sing. So yeah, that was my day, and just wanted to say, always look on the bright side. I could have been stressed out and upset that I couldn't find this little thing, but quite honestly, if it was anything else, any other piece, I wouldn't have been able to remake it, because they're all so unique. But that, I had everything except for that one ingredient, I shall say, material, and I found it. <laughs> so yay! <laughs> can be sent off tomorrow and make somebody very happy. And I'm already happy because I got to make it and have a really awesome day. So, yeah, and all, uh, you know, candles. I'm just really into candles. I like candles and incense. I actually ended up buying incense from the bead store today because she had some. And here's
Ich tue das.